this is gonna happen. We will wait as long as we need to. Mr. David, are you gonna be paying us cash tonight? Shut up, you prick. Look. Got the restraints. This is your new life. I hate zombies! I love zombies. Trying to get me drunk? No, I'm just trying to get some life back in you. No chance, dude. Oh, I'm so tired. All I want to do is crawl back under my blankets. It's so nice and warm. That sounds so nice. You know, it's weird. My sheets still smell like her. What did I tell you? I'm sick and tired about hearing about Lisa. Get over it. Real compassionate, sees. Besides, you should like wash your sheets at least once every other month. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to take laundry advice from you, you dirtball. Have you ever washed that shirt? No, this is vintage. You don't wash vintage. It'll lose its nostalgia. Well, you smell like gangrene. You should put a new shirt on. Dude, this is my favorite shirt. Besides, Spotty wouldn't recognize me without it. I'll be right back.
Yo, this is Spidey. Hey, man, what's going on? How you doing? Mm, you know, not bad. Oh, you guys totally, uh, you won't believe it. I was listening to the Biz Buzz today. And they were giving tickets away to the Vicious Vegans, right? And check it out. I called in, I was the ninth caller. Called in the Biz Buzz. I'd never won anything on the radio before. It was awesome. I got tickets to the Vicious Vegans tonight. It's going to rock. This is going to be a great show. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys want to wanna go? You going to get a hold of these tickets here, huh? Yeah, I'm good, dude. Yeah, I'll take them off your hands. Yeah? I was going to see them anyway. All right, They're yeah. supposed to be some big hit. Oh, it's going to be awesome. I tell you what, you give me $10 for those, and we'll be square, all right? What, why? You got them for free. And besides, you owe me a favor or two. Yeah, 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 you're right, but, you know, tell you what, you give me $5, two tickets, rock and roll, you're on the floor, you're watching the Vicious Vegans, rock the house. You got to go see them. It's going to yeah, be a great time. It. You don't want to miss this. I got five bucks. Yeah, yeah, see? See, this guy knows what's going on. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Thanks, bitch. Tell you what, it's time to fly. I'll catch you guys later. Give me a call, C's. Can you believe that guy? You owe me five bucks. Thanks for the tickets, bitch. Feel better? Yeah. What are you drawing? Sketching some ideas for a clothing line. The uh, fashion school, WWT, that I got accepted to, um, they require that all of their students design a fashion line before they even start taking classes. You know, I guess they want to see you know, where I'm at. Congrats, you didn't tell me you got accepted? Well, when are you leaving? Probably never at this rate. Why? Why don't you just pick up and move? You know, money's really tight right now, and my dad needs me at home. Plus, <laughs> he doesn't want me to go to New York. Then there's Lisa. The whole Lisa thing. And on top of that, someone else quit at the hospital today, which means I get to volunteer more. Yeah, I don't know if I'll go, but sketching just in case. Keep coming, keep coming. Okay, back it up. Come on, come on, you're not gonna hit me. Bring it back, come on. Whoa! Okay guys, bring in that crate and assemble it upstairs. Let's load these zombies into the crates as quick as possible. They're starting to freak me out. Let's go. Move those dead legs, come on. I thought they were supposed to be the living dead. You wake up. I think this one's still asleep. Ballsack! Get the thing out of here! Are you kidding me? Mr. David is going to hear about this. I don't think he'll be happy to hear about it. Well, he's going to take responsibility for it. I doubt it. He didn't give a damn about my eye. Who are you? I'm a guard. You here to guard the band? No, I'm here to guard the audience. All right. Are you leaving? Dude, thanks for the coffee, but I can't even keep my eyes open. Have you not heard of the Vicious Vegans? Who are the Vicious Vegans? You mean what are the Vicious Vegans? And we just bought tickets for tonight. You mean I just bought tickets to see them tonight. And dude, I don't want to see some shitty jam band moan about peace. The Vicious Vegans aren't some tree huggers. Besides, it's supposed to be some revolutionary gig. What's so special about them? The three guys are zombies. They're dead! Ah. That sounds like a hoax. No, it's not a hoax. It's awesome. So, you're telling me that three corpses came back to life and formed a punk band? You really haven't heard of the Vicious Vegans. They've been all over Channel 7 News. Some agent, music agent from, from L.A. needed a new punk band. So he brought back these three talented musicians who died in their prime. It sounds like a cheap ploy to get people to come see a crappy show. It's the Vicious Vegan's first concert. So even if it sucks, it'll go down in history. And besides, do you have work tomorrow? Yeah, I didn't think so. So stay for one song. You won't regret it. A, a bunch of people are going to be there. Like who? Chris, Jeff, Pat, Moxie, uh, Sue, Heather, uh, Stacy, Wiggs, Lisa. I don't care if she's there or not, so her being there won't sway my decision. I was just saying who's going to be there. Is she going? Well, she said she was going to be there. It's at the warehouse. Okay, let's say for one song. It, it will be wasted anyway, even if it sucks. All right, one song. But if I don't have the best time of my life, I'm holding you personally responsible. 
All right. Mr. David, the band is here. Would you like them in the crate? Took long enough. I needed them two hours ago. Well, we had a bit of a problem. Look, I don't want to hear it. You can go. Uh, one quick second, though. Uh, one of them actually bit me. I'm probably going to need stitches. And I'm assuming your company's insurance is going to pay for this. Oh, can, can I see it? How long ago did this happen? About a half hour ago. Okay, but well, of course we'll cover you. Let me, let me get my card. Let me get you, get you set up. Oh, there. Roger, I need your help upstairs to move something. It's not about the body, is it? Just get up here. I gotta piss. Dude, we're almost there. Just go when we get there. Have you ever seen the so-called bathrooms in there? I feel more sanitary piss in my pants. Edgy today. You're a knob. Let's get going. I want to thrash. What? I think I'm actually just gonna go home. Stop acting like a bitch. You're not fine. Go ahead. I'll have a great time on my own. Good. See ya. What the fuck are you doing? If you're gonna act like a mope, I'm gonna treat you like a mope. What? That doesn't even make any sense. You want to get over Lisa, right? Huh? Get off me, asshole. Well, go in there and pay no attention to her or her blockhead boyfriend. And if he comes by us, you grab her and I'll kick him in the neck. I'll kick you in the ball. All right. I'll let you kick him. You would enjoy that better, huh? 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 No one's getting kicked in the balls except for you, unless you cool it and let me do what I want. Are we gonna go? Yes. Well, let's go. I want to talk to somebody else. You are my least favorite person. Yo, is this a show or an abortion clinic? Holy, we live in an uptight town. They were probably paid by the band to raise publicity. Die, die, don't come back. That's a fact. Let them rest, let them rest. Living workers are the best. This is fascinating. Can't be real. These unfortunate creatures are being forced against their will to perform. And why? Because they don't cost much and they don't ask for health insurance. Bring them on. <laughs> are you going to watch the corporately corrupted corpses bang the drum? Or are you going to march with us to the sound of our drum? Hey, lady, is this your ferret? Those zombies are dirty. You get too close to that stage, you'll be subject to a cocktail of bacterial dangers. Come on, man. Just let them think what they want. <laughs> hey, if they want to rock, let them rock. OK, if you want to be one of the walking dead consumers in there, fine by me. They just want to make their monies and watch their species being exploited. You know, that, that's clever. The walking dead consumers. <laughs> I like it. What, what are you even bitching about? This is just hype to get you riled up for the puppet show. Totally fake. You're fake, man. Fake? I wish this was fake. Human jobs are being taken away by rich people just trying to make money. This reality will affect all of us if we don't make a stand tonight. Do you think I'd be out here freezing my ass off if this atrocity weren't a real threat? I am not an idiot. I have a scholarship at the university. 
and Teddy here goes to the tech college. Damien David is to blame. He manages the band. He paid for the research, he paid for the chemicals needed, and he's paving the way for nationwide exploitation. No, wait. If they were breaking any laws, the government wouldn't let him do it. That's the problem. It's too new. It should be against the law, but zombieism should be impossible. But nothing is impossible for Damien David when there's money to be made. What do you know about the zombies? I know zombies aren't intended to be. America is going to get worse if we don't take a stand tonight. And who knows what diseases those things carry. Take a stand for human beings! Talk about zombies. In my studies, I found that in some of the unsuccessful days of resurrection, some of the bodies acted in threatening ways. Some of the scientists even went missing. People have already died. A lot more will die if we don't take a stand tonight. You're cute. But you're crazy. Get a real job. I have a job. Don't be fooled. This is the beginning of a bad time for the human race. These guys are like dumb puppets. I tell them to jump. If they could talk, they'd say how high. Am I right? <laughs> no, seriously. They're the easiest man to work with in the world. All right, sounds like we have a deal. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, this is Damien David. Yes, the Vicious Vegans start their U.S. tour next month. Yeah, everybody who's been calling has been expressing the same concerns you have. But I can guarantee you this band is no danger. I've been working with them for the last year and I've had no trouble. You know, killer zombies are something you see in the movies. These guys are more like pets you learn to love. Okay, and to, and to guarantee absolute safety, we'll have them in special restraints during the entire show. Okay. Okay, I'll have my assistant call you and we'll set it up. Bye-bye. Max, babe, what's the good word? Don't call me babe. Fair enough. We're close to starting and we barely have anyone here to watch your show. I was told this was gonna be a big payoff. I need this money to stay afloat. All right, the human job protesters are hurting us a bit. But we're riding the hype. We're banking on the hype. All right, after one song, they're gonna crave this shit. Once we have the hearts of the rebels, the rockers, the kiddies, they'll call everyone they know. Once we have them, we'll have the power, and no one will stand in our way. We have nothing but a lot of words from you. I'm putting myself out on the line. You guaranteed me this band was going to bring in big numbers. Safety is a huge concern, but I went forward because I needed this money. Now you listen to me right now. I'm gonna go out there, and if I don't have a full crowd of people, I'm coming back here and I'm shutting it down. Oh, Max, babe, no need to make threats. What a whiny bitch. This is the night the vicious vegans take over the world. You know, I mean, how could people devote their lives into shutting down shows? It's pathetic. It's a joke. This whole thing is a joke. You now, that girl was kind of spunky. She was passionate. Now, I bet if she was a zombie, I'd let her fight me. What? This sucks. Why did I even come? I can't believe Sam is actually here. I thought you were just trying to get me out. You had to face it sometime. So what? You broke up with your girlfriend. Now you want her back. He's the one who should be worried, not you. Well, he's the one who's with her now. When I told her we needed to break up because we were heading in different directions, she took that as, I hate you and I never want to see you again. How am I going to get her back? Be yourself. That's who she likes, right? And besides, we don't have to stand beside them all day. No. We have to stand by them. It would be so much more awkward if we didn't. You go over there. I'll catch up. Holy shit, is that Spidey? Can I get a bottle of water? I think this is the one. Stay safe. I'll be right behind you. You're kind of breathing heavy. Can you handle this? What's wrong with his face? It's nothing. Hide the body now. You can dispose of it after the show.
Can I count on you not to screw this up? I don't think I have to make some calls. Prick. Hello, this is Damien David. Yes, I'm very interested. <laughs> Can you believe that guy? He sold us tickets and then snuck into the same show. Yo, you gotta show me that a fire escape sometime. Hey Ed, how are you doing? Doing alright. How are you doing? Good. That was Sam. I think he's a little jealous of you. There's no need to be. How's it going with him? It's good. So, uh, have you designed that new t-shirt line yet? No, not yet. One of these days it'll hit me, though. Do you wanna... Music is more than sound, it's an experience. And tonight, you're in store for real music. <laughs> Billy, Penelope, and Brian were all young musical geniuses who had their lives cut short. But death is not the final chapter in this story, it's the first. Yeah. <laughs> a year ago, a year ago, I scoured the earth, searching for a way to raise the dead. And tonight, the fruits of my labor pay off with the rebirth of punk music. <laughs> now, be now because of the vegans decaying bodies, their faces will be covered for your consideration. And let me reassure you, the band is not dangerous, but for complete safety, the zombies will be restrained during the show. Can I have everybody move to this side of the stage so the band can get to the stage? And now, for your listening pleasure, let me introduce BJ, Pinko, and Brains, the Vicious Vegans! <laughs> Our 
Aren't they magnificent? Design the night I left this life to walk in constant agony, fearing in the light. But I will feel no pain, no, I will feel no pain. One day I'll sleep again, and I will feel no pain. overcomes me This hunger fills my soul I don't know where I'm going And I can't find my home Why can't you understand This wasn't what I planned Why can't you let me sleep And end this nightmare But I will feel no pain <laughs> trying to get us out of here, okay? So we wouldn't get trapped. Well, now we're trapped, so a lot of good that did. <sighs> we'll find Lisa, and we'll find a way out. I, I saw at least four other people get bit by zombies. So that means there's at least four other people infected. Maybe more. What does that mean? Jesus, haven't you ever seen a zombie flick? When you get bit by a zombie, you die because of it. When you rise up as the living dead, all you want is brains. We're screwed. How long does that take? It, it depends. Great. God, what was that guy with the hatchet doing? What kind of an idiot does that? You know, I bet he's one of those HJP nuts. Guys, gather around. Okay, so I got some good news and I got some bad news. Good news, zombies are freed. Yes. Bad news, a couple of our warriors are still inside. You know what? I don't care about zombies. We're gonna find Lisa and get out. It's gotta be Lisa.
Seize! Sorry, I thought you were the zombie. That's nice. I, I almost thought I did something wrong there. Sorry. Where is it? Is it still in the room? The dead guy? I was about to pounce on him and tackle him, but then he just turned around and walked away. I think he went upstairs. I thought I was zombie food. Yeah, I thought so too. Oh. Hey, when there are things on the loose trying to eat us, try not to sneak up on us, okay? My mistake. Anyway, I thought I heard it go upstairs, so we should go down and get out of here while we have the chance. I think we should feed you to the bloodthirsty zombies. What's your problem, dude? Let me say this. In America nowadays, if you let one zombie make a living, you're gonna open the doors for the entire living dead population to take our jobs. It'll be a filthy epidemic. I changed history tonight, and I will go down in time as the hero that stopped the zombie revolution. So I ask you again, what's your problem? What's my problem? You're a jobless, worthless piece of a redneck who thinks just because you don't want dead people to work, you're gonna take extreme actions? How many people died up there tonight, Al, because of your half-assed plan? And tonight will go down in history as the night you killed innocent people. You're worse than the jack-off who brought back the zombies. Get out of my face before I I've had enough. Seize, the only reason I'm here is because you are too insecure to do anything by yourself. We're just gonna have to suffer through this together. Yeah. Oh, don't you start with me. Whose idea was it to free the zombies? You know, I've heard better ideas from a flagpole. You just keep your mouth shut and listen to me. If you both keep quiet, we might just make it through this. Let's go out the back way and we'll get Lisa. Talk about stupid plans. If the zombie's not blocking the door, we should go down, get out of here, and be free. Then you can send in a hundred people to rescue any survivors. What's your name? Jimmy. Jimmy. Either you're going to live with us or die away from us. Either way, I don't care. So I suggest you come. You know what? I don't have to listen to you. I'm leaving. You come with us or die now. I'll come. I'll, I'll, I'll come. <clears throat> Don't ever touch me again. Do what we say and I won't have to. Zombies? Maybe. Are you? No. Good. We aren't either. 
Thank God I found someone who wasn't dead. Everyone upstairs is. Did you happen to see a 20-year-old girl with wavy blonde hair and big eyes? The zombies took her. I don't know. Maybe. I haven't seen any survivors. Where are you headed to? This kid is making us head upstairs to look for a zombie girlfriend. But I think we should head downstairs and get the heck out of here. Escaping out the front door isn't an option. They barricaded the door shut. Zombies did? No. The city has. The city's on standby. If the zombies were to break out, their orders were to lock up the building and gas everyone within an hour. They're being quarantined because they don't want a United States of zombieism. But we're still alive. We're not zombies. How can they just lock us in here and throw away the key? Cut your losses. The greater good. She's a zombie. Are you guys friends? Yeah. Damien did this. The last time I saw him, he let the zombies bite this girl. Why? Because he's lost his mind. He thinks he owns the world. After I saw what he did, I tried to call the authorities, but his goons went and locked me up. Probably would have fed me to the zombies if they didn't have to be on stage. So is this gas just gonna kill the zombies? This gas is designed to kill humans, zombies, anything with any life in it, or it's even been infected with zombieism. Uh, so you knew that everyone here was in danger? You knew that these things could kill? And, and then that the city found out they'd lock the door and throw the key away? I should let her bite you! Right. Worst choice of my life. I know it's no excuse. I need, I need it the money. You don't understand. They were gonna close this place down if I couldn't make rent. This place would have been shut down. I would have been out on the street. Yeah, but all the lives of these people are in your hands. This girl wanted to make the world a better place. And now she's she's a man. All because you wanted to make some money? You didn't have to drag me to this concert. Jimmy didn't have to use a hatchet to let the zombies out. But life has a way of happening. We just have to move on and not point fingers so we don't keep on making the same mistakes. Can we break the windows and jump out? Well, the windows are made of a special non-shatter glass because the intensity of the music played here. How do we get out? Damien had a plan for that. He was gonna hit the fire escape up to the ceiling. We had a helicopter waiting for him. This is 852805 in route to the warehouse. Bastard. We'll find Lisa and get to the fire escape. Easy as pie. Damien won't stop. I warn you. If I see him again, I'm gonna kill him. I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do. I gotta find Lisa. Seize. Can you stick her somewhere? <laughs> The HJP had a plan. They're not just gonna leave me here. They're gonna be out the front door waiting for me, all right? Shut up! Max, is there any way we can break down the front door? They're not going to let you out. And if you don't sound like a zombie, they're just going to assume you've been bitten. Well, there's gotta be a way out on this level. That's enough. We have a plan. We're gonna stick to it. We're running out of time. Do you guys feel like we're being watched? Shut up. Is that Spidey? 
Yeah, it looks like him. Let me creep along the back wall, see if there's anyone else in the room, and then I'll go get confirmation. Okay, uh, be careful. Watch my back. Sees if you could find me a cup of coffee, that'd be great. Take a look at it for me. <laughs> Take a real close look at it. <laughs> 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 something about syringes in the back room after he got bit. This sucks. This really sucks. We shouldn't even be in this situation. We should go for the syringes. We can't look for Lisa and the zombie cure. Spidey said that they brought Lisa down here. I'm gonna go look for her and you two go get the Examine your point of view then. Don't concern yourself about me. Split up and search. Yell if you find anything.
think he's just gonna wake up and lead us to the room Lisa's in? Yeah. Don't you think that he's gonna smell us when he wakes up? Shut up. What if they have like a sixth sense? He's gonna know we're here. Shut up. What if Shut they... up. Upstairs. Did you get the syringes? Yeah, but they're not a cure. They're filled with air. So you can kill yourself before you turn into a zombie. Shh. That's her, is it? Let's get her. Wait. We don't have time. Eddie? Do either of you have a weapon I could use? No. Do I need to get something? No. What's going on? We've been trapped. Uh, it's not a trap. I saw the zombies go upstairs. We're not dealing with stupid zombies. These deadlings are smart. We're going to have to step up our game. BJ's still in the room. He's waiting for me to pop my head in. Well, what should we do? I'll fight him. And when the other zombies come, you guys fight him off. <sighs> this plan sucks. BJ! 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 This plan really sucks. 
deal with it. Did you hurt her? You got my attention! Did you hurt her? Listen, dead man, if you touched her, I'm gonna send you back to the world. Shut up, goddammit! He knocked himself out. You gonna pass out? Smelling bitch. What's going on? Nothing, just keep your eyes open. How'd that feel for your face? Knock him out again! I'm working on it! Lisa. 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 It's okay. I'm here. You're safe. I'll put a jig in your step! Lisa, I'm so sorry about everything. No, Eddie, I'm sorry. The school thing is just stupid. I'm, I want to make more time for us. You're the one I want to be around. Eddie, it's okay. Thank you for coming to save me. I couldn't leave you. I'll always come back for you. Caesar bit? What? I can't do it. Just use the syringe. The, the needles are filled with air. It's not a cure. I mean, if you die maybe before you turn, you won't come back as a zombie. What can I do? See, this is small. Ah, I, th I think we can fix this. If we, if we can cut the blood off from circulating with a tourniquet, then we can get you to the hospital for a blood transfusion. We can put new blood in you. Do you think this is gonna work? I totally have faith this will work. We still have to get past those two though. I mean, we barely made it in here alive. We're gonna have to think of a way to kill them. Because if we don't, they're just gonna keep coming and coming and coming. I get it. We have to remember that they get knocked out really easily. Their numbers are higher now, so we're gonna have to kill them. Why do we have to kill them? Because every time that we just knock them down, they get up and try to eat us. Lisa's right. Killing them is not an option. I don't even want to think about killing something that's already dead. It'll take too much time and energy. Behead them. With what tools? By the time we cut off their heads and get past them, they'll have gassed the place. What? Forgot to tell you. The city's quarantined the building and they're gonna fill it with gas that'll kill everything that's living and dead. Let's just keep moving. We still have to get past those two. Zombies, living dead, wild, crazy animals. What would you do if you were in the wild? I know what we're gonna do. Hello? 
was hungry for some dinner. Come on, guys. Remember, I'm food. Tastes good? Yum, 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 yum. Come on, you zombie bastards. Get a move on it. Just give us a second. Why don't you go check on the zombies? Cease. I got an idea. What's your idea? Uh, I found this hatchet. You can use it to cut your arm. That's and gonna it'll hurt. Drain some of the bad blood. It's gonna no, hurt. No, cease. It won't. Ah! Damn it! Hurt. At least you weren't expecting it. Don't work your heart any harder than you need to. He's not there anymore. He's not there. God, we're... What the hell happened? I had to cut his arm to drain some of the bad blood out. We need to get seized to a hospital. We risked our lives to save your girlfriend, and now you have this guy lying right here in front of you. If he's gonna turn, I'll take a syringe. I will stab him in his heart to save him from that hell. Jimmy, he'll be fine. Hope you're doing this for him and not yourself. What do we do now? We wait to die. He's up here. DJ's up there? Yeah. All the dead people are up walking around. There are more zombies. I know you're tired, I can see it in your eyes But tomorrow morning, I'm gone for good Time is flying by, so wrap your arms around me Hold on tight, take my hand one last time And stay with me tonight, cause it's too early Give me the syringes and we'll go downstairs and we'll break down the doors no. He doesn't want to eat us. He doesn't want to eat us? <laughs> Great! How'd you figure that one out? Why don't we just go up there and, you know, watch the concert? Really get our money's worth. He's playing up there. He looked right at me, and he didn't even stop playing the song. We could sit here and talk about it, or we could get seized to a hospital. I don't have to listen to you. I'm leaving. I don't care. Get the hell out of here! You better care! Get your hands off me! You don't even trust me! You should be the one that we don't trust! You're acting like you're God and stop risking this man's soul! No, he's not gonna turn. And as we've seen by your leadership, when you make decisions, people die. I hate you! You're gonna get us all killed! I'm dying! Throw this in your fucking head! Hey, Jimmy, good luck! Lisa, can you help me? Oh, 
<laughs> I'm sorry I've been such a pain today. You've been fine. At least not any more of a pain than any other day. Don't leave me. <coughs> Better yet, I'll distract him. Seasmore, you guys didn't leave me earlier. Why would we leave you? If I asked for a syringe, would you give it to me? Seas, <laughs> if that's what you wanted right now, I would. Thank you. We gotta wake him up. Maybe we should do the syringe. We gotta get him to a hospital. I don't want him to turn into a zombie. Well, no matter what, if we don't get him to a hospital, he's gonna bleed out before he turns. Wake him up. Seasmore, come Seize. on, wake up! Seasmore! This isn't going to work. Hide, someone's coming! What happened to me? I just passed out for a little bit. Uh, Eddie, I'm thirsty. Give me something to drink. Here. <coughs> you can have the rest of the water. Okay. Max said <coughs> that there's a fire escape in one of the back hallways. If we can find that, we can get out. Okay. Let's go. Smaller than I imagined. Max. Hmm? Max is dead. Well, I guess I'm still Max. I'm just undead, Max. I'm so sorry. Why? I feel so appropriate. Liberated. This is my place, Eddie. You remember me? I remember everything from my living life. Well, well then you should remember it's wrong to kill people. You'll be much happier when you're one of us. This is evolution. Ask that guy. Him? Look into his eyes. He's been affected. Zombies can't talk? He doesn't know who I am. He's in a different world now. Matt, step back. I don't need money, sex, possessions. All I need Springs. Lovely, plump, squishy, appetizing brains. Brains. I love brains. Eddie, come here. Come on, I'm your friend. I'm not a zombie. You saved your life. This is true happiness. Lisa, I need your help here. I can have it. <laughs> Are you alright? I can't take this! We're almost out. Max! Where is the exit? Get a hold of it! Damn it! Max! Where is the fire escape? You're not a human, you're dead! There's other survivors. We should go look for them. Seize, what are you talking about? We have to get to the hospital. Okay. Get her here. No. It's okay. Just get the door. 
Something wrong? No. We just gotta get going. Again. And I will feel no pain. Time for this. My time is up. We'll bring you to the hospital, Seas. Everything will be alright, Seas. And well, look at me now. It'll be okay. Lisa, come here. I need you. I found it. Hey, come on. I found it. Lisa, come here. Don't listen to him, Lisa. Get off the stairs.
I can guarantee you this band is no danger. This band is no danger. To you, this band is no danger. No danger. This band is no danger. No danger. No danger. No danger. No danger. I needed to come talk with you. I miss you, Eddie. With each passing day, the reality of what happened sinks in. Thank you for saving me. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here today. But I know if it wasn't for me, you'd still be here. Seas would still be here. Why did this have to happen to us? Your last action was to protect us from the zombies getting out. Well, it worked, Eddie. The real reason I'm here was to give you this. I looked through it, I hope you don't mind. Everything in here is amazing. I made copies and I'm going to put out the first Eddie Wood set clothing line. I love you, Eddie. And I won't let you be forgotten. But I'll never leave this state 
You will have to break my soul and end my day. There's no room for you to be this way. That piercing tone, it drives my faith to Wind at my back, it carries your voice. It leaves me here with no choice. But I wouldn't have it any other way, cause I'd be driving these roads to my dying day. Cause I never leave this stage. You will have to break my soul and end my day. There's no room for you to be this way. That piercing tone, it drives my feet. Today I, I no 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 Let's do it again. Use that. <laughs> that could be a good blooper.